In this video, I will show you the differences between a major in statistics and finance, and how to make the most of them. According to Payscale, the average pay of someone with a bachelor's degree in finance is $72,000, and the average pay of someone with a statistics degree is $70,000. The similarity could be because they both qualify you for analyst type job roles that are popular among both majors. A finance degree can qualify you for a number of different types of jobs that are available to people with just a bachelor's degree. According to the data on Payscale, types of jobs finance majors can get includes financial analyst, data analyst, investment analyst, financial advisor and a credit analyst. Something to consider about the types of jobs that you will qualify for is that they are often reported as being stressful jobs. This is likely to be due to high working hours, high levels of competition and some of them being commission based. Another thing to consider is that it can be very difficult to land more lucrative job roles in areas such as investment banking if you do not go to a target school. With that being said, finance majors do get paid well compared with most majors and finance jobs are expected to grow by more than the average across all jobs according to the Bureau of Labour Statistics. Also, finance jobs do have the potential to pay very well if you can make it into senior level positions. The Bureau of Labour Statistics predicts that the demand for mathematicians and statisticians will rise by 33% by 2029 compared to 2019. This is mainly due to the surge in data that companies have been receiving in recent years that they need people with mathematical and statistical skills to make sense of. Since statistics is used in many different fields, a statistics degree should open you up to many different job opportunities. According to Payscale, the most common reported jobs people with a statistics degree report having are data analyst, data scientist, actuarial analyst, software engineer, financial analyst and a business analyst. However, because it is a general degree, if you get a statistics degree without taking more applied classes, it can be difficult to compete for more specialised positions. If you do end up choosing a statistics major, this means that you should take courses from the field that you want to enter, do summer internships and to complete projects related to that field as well, in order to be competitive when seeking a job. Many statistics majors go into software engineering after graduation. If you want to qualify for software engineering jobs, it would help to make sure to take a class in data structures and algorithms, since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. Currently, data science is becoming a very popular career path among statistics majors. To qualify for data science jobs, it would help to make sure to learn Python programming, data analysis using the Pandas library, machine learning, to complete data science projects as an undergrad, and to try to get data science internships. If your university does not offer data science or machine learning classes, it will be necessary for you to self-study them in your own time using websites such as Coursera, edX, Datacamp, Kaggle or Udemy. Since data science and machine learning are quickly evolving, you should expect to have to self-study a lot regardless. If you get a statistics degree by itself, it would still put you in a good position to be competitive for analyst type job roles, but they do not pay nearly as well as data science, software engineering and machine learning engineering job roles. A statistics degree combined with classes from computer science, data science and machine learning and projects in data science, machine learning and software engineering would be one of the most employable combinations available right now since all three pay well and have very strong predicted job growth. Also, completing personal projects is important because there is a lot you might not learn about in your classes that is actually important for jobs. For example, in your statistics classes, you might only learn about data analysis using R, but many jobs use Python, 
by completing data analysis projects in Python, you will be able to qualify for the Python job roles and you'll have something to show for it. A finance major can have some moderately difficult classes, however there will not be many math heavy classes. A statistics major will have many math heavy classes and there will not be many easy classes. Overall, you can expect a finance major to be a lot easier than a statistics major. This does mean that you'll have more time to do things such as apply to internships or to complete projects as a finance major. But the difficulty of a statistics major can help you to qualify for more specialised roles such as in data science and machine learning. Also, you can make your time in the major a lot easier by planning your schedule out ahead of time and making sure that you are good at the basics of math and stats by using websites such as Khan Academy. Classes you can expect to take in a finance major can include micro and macroeconomics, personal finance concepts, financial management, financial accounting, financial forecasting, corporate finance and managerial accounting. The statistics classes in a statistics major can involve a lot of mathematics. As a result, you can expect to take a number of math classes in your freshman and sophomore years. They can include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra and discrete math. After finishing the math prerequisites, you can expect to take a number of different statistics classes including Introduction to Probability and Statistics, Mathematical Statistics, Regression Analysis, Statistical Learning and Time Series Forecasting. Depending on the university, you can also expect to have the option to take classes related to data analysis, machine learning and data science. Something to consider is that different statistics programs will focus more on certain areas. Some programs will be more theoretical and focused more on traditional statistics classes, whereas others will be more applied and have more practical classes such as in data science, machine learning and Python data analysis. In both cases, supplementing the major with a more applied minor related to the type of job you are interested in would help a lot. It would also help a lot to try to complete projects related to the job you are interested in and to try to get summer internships while you are an undergrad. If you decide to major in statistics, it would help a lot to get a minor in computer science and to take classes in data science and machine learning. If you decide to major in finance, a minor in computer science would also be an option. However, another option would be to minor in accounting, since many finance majors find themselves in roles that involve accounting. When choosing between statistics and finance, it would help a lot to consider the type of jobs that you are interested in. If you are more interested in more mathematical job roles, such as in data science, a statistics major would likely be the better option, whereas if you prefer customer facing roles or more competitive environments, finance would likely be a better option for you. Something to consider is that a major in statistics with a finance minor would be enough for you to qualify for most finance job roles, while also being able to qualify for a lot of analyst type job roles that have strong job growth.